Hello everyone, this is Mark from Noltex. Today is Thursday and I will be talking about Bitcoin's price. So, currently we are trading at 75.28. Uh, we dropped a little bit last week, but so far so good. We have been holding the $7,500 support line, which is great news. Uh, I'm really hoping that as long as we can hold the same price through the weekend or at least stay above like 7300 there's no reason why we can't test 8000 again next week uh, there isn't much any news that has recently recently happened i mean hacked the publication described the recent correction as being long overdue saying that the currency was suffering from an upswing of buyers who began entering the mix as soon as the currency added a thousand dollars to its price so this correction was just natural a lot of people are also a little bit confused about bitcoin etfs because the sec rejected it there's all these applications it's kind of a little bit confusing but the rejection definitely brought some negative impact to the market uh, and kind of i feel like uh, turned this uh, recent bullish momentum a little short which is fine which just happens the other thing is people are asking when are the institutional investors going to come in that's the really big money than the Wall Street players, Goldman Sachs, all these uh, BlackRock executives. That's a huge, huge amount of uh, investments that can potentially come into the Bitcoin space and really propel and really give a lot of backing to the cryptocurrency. Uh, CFTC released a chart saying that the recent range Bitcoin has been gracing is about 57 to 66. And this is where typically one will find institutional investors purchasing Bitcoin. So in other words... We were kind of stuck with two relatively poor outcomes. So either Bitcoin has these investors at its side, but the price has to travel at a snail's pace, or the price continues to grow and the currency fails to garner any real support from this from these institutional players. So if the currency drops down to the six thousand or low six thousand levels, there's no reason why we won't see the institutional investors purchasing Bitcoin because. For them to purchase Bitcoin at the $8,000 level, that's a little bit of high risk because the last time Bitcoin was at this price was back in May, so about three months ago. Institutional investors don't really like to take big risks, like obviously buy when it's low, sell when high. So if you if they are looking to purchase Bitcoin at the $6,000 level, that is that is uh, relatively a low price because it hasn't touched that in quite a bit. I mean, uh, in, in February it kind of went down a little bit and in April but since then I feel 6,000 is a relatively low price for cryptocurrency but if uh, Bitcoin does not drop to 8,000 it keeps going up to 8,000 or to 6,000 it keeps going up to 8,000 9,000 then institutional investors are going to be a little more hesitant into bringing in their money so this is kind of like we're in a little crossroads here what will what will the price do the good news is August has relatively been a strong month except for uh, you know, the cold summer, I believe, in 2014. So assuming this trend continues, um, as long as we can hold a little bit of the support line, there's no reason why we can't test the 8,000 again and hopefully actually use turn that into support instead of resistance. Um, the weekend is coming up, so usually over the weekend there isn't much things happening um, unless there's some major news that comes out. Um, so we'll, we'll just have to wait and see. But I'm going to remain positive and bullish and hope that in the next coming weeks we can test 8,000 yet again. So if you guys like this video, please hit the like button. If you want to see more videos like this, please hit the subscribe button. If you have any questions or comments, please post them in the comment section. I will definitely get back to you. My name is Mark. I'm from Noltex and I'll see you guys next time.